There are fathers in every location. There are fathers in every time. But when we're speaking about the fatherly anointing, we're talking about something that is not small, something that is high. Not only in the days of the Bible, but even in our time. I've been praying to God. I said, Lord, reveal to me who, who are the fathers in our land. Who are the fathers in our time? And let me tell you, I may not know all of them, but as I just go through countries by countries, many names pops to my spirit. And I say, I know God, you have established men and women. Some of them may not be as you will want them to be, but they carry a fatherly anointing. Amen. Congo has known many fathers. And even as we go, we can see in the Democratic Republic of Congo, God grooming and making and molding more people, not only to make babies, but uh, who are carrying that fatherly anointing. Yeah. It, one that I know and I have related to in a very close personal way, Apostle Roland Dalo. He is a father. He carries a special grace. An anointing of fathers, a man known as uh, Papa Nkelani. He is old, but when you see the respect the pastors uh, give him, you understand his impact in their lives. And there are many fathers, not only in, uh, in uh, uh, the list I have given, there is far bigger than what I have said. As I say again, don't hold me captive and don't hold me just on what I say. If I did not mention your name, it does not mean that you're not a father. It just means that I did not mention your name. <laughs> when we look at Zimbabwe, it, the, 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 the country next to us, flourishing in many levels and really attacked by the enemy in the economy and so forth. But spiritually, we look at people like a Papa Ezekiel Guti. Those of you who are from Zimbabwe will not know this great man of God, old but still pushing for Jesus Christ. Zaoja, forward of faith. Emmanuel Makandiwa, Bishop Tudo Bismarck, Pastor Tom Duchel. Now the list can go on and on. I am not talking about good pastors. I am not just talking about pastors who have good churches. I am talking about those I perceive in the Holy Ghost have the element of fathers, the anointing of God. Now some, some name I have mentioned may meet your expectation. You may shout for it while others may bring you disappointment. But I don't want to enter into your personal problem. I want to remain the preacher on the pulpit. In South Africa, ladies and gentlemen, I am reminded of Nicholas Bengu. In the 1950s, he started a movement, Africa Back to God. He's a father, way gone, but still alive through the work that he had performed. NJ Sintole. Till now, we're talking about NS Gumbi. Now, some of you may have a personal problem with uh, someone I may mention, especially if they are still alive. And uh, you think that the pastor, are you sure? <laughs> Christian Family Church is led by a great man of God, Theo Volmarans. I perceive in him the anointing of a father, Pastor Ray McCauley of Rema Bible Church, Prophet T.A. Rale Colella. I see the anointing of a father in Prophet Shepherd Bushiri of ECG. Archbishop Zondo. Oh, yes. And many more. What I'm going to say, if I've not mentioned your name, this is not the purpose of listing those who are fathers. I am merely making an example of those I perceive to have carried or to have a fatherly anointing. I the love Lord you, my father. Raise them. The Lord, Lord has raised you. them as voices. 
Spiritually, when they speak, it's not only for the mushroom ears of men to hear, but the principalities in the atmosphere align as these men stand and speak. It is funny as we look at our generation, the number of fathers that we see specifically locked in one part of the world. I'm talking about Nigeria. I speak today with no fear of being contradicted that uh, the fatherly anointing that I am speaking about today is more seen concentrated in Nigeria than in any part of right. the globe. It is shocking, but it is a reality. Archbishop Benson Idaosa. Oh, yes. Mm. A man who was strong, bold in his faith. A man whose legacy is louder than most of those who are alive with microphone and amplificators. Mm. A man standing strong in God, who's too strong in God in his time. Did he die? I don't know. Because everywhere I look, I see the working of what he had labored for. Mm. I wish I had the opportunity in my lifetime to have personally met Archbishop Benson Idaosa. But there are many more today who still carries this fatherly anointing. Pastor at the boy of Redeemed Christian Church, Bishop David Oyedepo of Winners Chapel, Bishop Michael Conco. Papa mm. Ayo Orisha oh, Jaffo. Yes. Bishop Paul Nwachuku mm -hmm. of Grace of God. Dr. D.K. Olukoya of Mountains of Fire. Pastor William Okumui of Deeper Life. Pastor Matthew Ashimoloa Whoa! of KICC. Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, as I speak, in our time, we are privileged to see men and women carrying a dose of grace, a dose of anointing as not seen previously, not seen before. Yes. May God carry on the pushing this work through his sons and daughters. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I say this. Please understand, I am just merely making an example. There are many, many more who carry this anointing. And please forgive me if I have not mentioned your name.